And hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I've had my nice little lunch after finishing off Mega Man Battle Network 2. And of course, I still have my good friend with me. Hello, I'm Blood Red Sakura. <laughs> yes, I have my good friend Blood Red Sakura here with me. Uh, still, <laughs> she hasn't decided to swan off. Obviously, obviously, I'm just messing with you. It's just like, I know no, I know recording sessions can really drain you of your mental health. Or just like, yeah. But we've not hit that point just yet. Um, so yeah. Um, but, you know, yeah. still going to pull through. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, I did ask her which of the Mega Man Battle Network 3 games to play first. Uh, white or blue. I don't know if there are any major version differences other than the styles that can happen because one of them gets round and the other gets shadow. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but I will probably All right, play go. white, like maybe off screen for a bit to see if there are any major differences. God, that title screen is very blue. Uh, one thing I am going to do... Change the border setting, shall we? Let's have it to be this. There we go. The year is 200x. The world's machines are joined in a worldwide network, but there is a dark side to this convenience as well. Computer virus and an increase in net crime. The virus lab at the Sky Lab conduct research into ways of dealing with these viruses. One day the students of ACDC school in ACDC town in Den City took a field trip to this Yeah. Took a field trip to the Sky Lab's virus lab. Yeah, she's Again, you see Miss Mari here, who is our teacher, who, again, I will point out, is 23 years old. Mm. This is even cooler than I thought I heard it was. And we're here on a school trip. Stay focused and quit daydreaming, okay? I know, Mega Man. Hey, Lan, didn't you hear what I said? Look, everyone else is paying attention. You know, it's not like we haven't saved the world, like, twice already. Oh, Jesus, oh, they've changed things up a bit. I don't know how it feels. Doesn't look good. This is the one thing that they kept changing just to sort of like make it a bit easier, I think. Message of neck. The number of neck fines has increased in recent years. Please be careful of viruses and evil. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Yes, my dad works here. Why am I not surprised? The dad has to be the bad guy. Right? Like, I generally thought that would be the case for Six, because that's like the end of the fucking Battle Network franchise. Like, side of the franchise. But I've played Six. Like, both versions of it. The dad is not the bad guy. It's really bizarre. So unless he's literally just like the most caring fucking dad in the world who's just constantly busy, it's really fucking weird. I mean, they exist, but they're very rare. Exactly. And they don't make very good game characters. No, they don't. Mm. 
I mean, you're not wrong, though. Oh, God, this guy looks high as fuck. It's like, hey, boys and girls. Oh, my God, it's like a good <laughs> Today, we're going to learn the basics of virus busting. Some of you may already be familiar with us. Again, we, yeah. saved, we saved the world twice. <coughs> <coughs> But so remember, fucking obviously. But remember the basics of vital. Okay, everyone, please jack in by passing. Oh god, no. That jacking in screen screen was horrid. Hate it that. I said the only one that actually does it fucking good is like six so far from what I've seen. Cause like I'm seeing all the others now because of the fact that I'm gonna be doing this like legacy collection. And yeah, six so far seems to be the only one that's actually fucking good. With a fucking jacking screen. thing is, I'm gonna have to do this tutorial every time I play the next game. Which is gonna annoy me to all of them fuck, because I'm just gonna be here like, I'm aware of this. Yeah, unless I change something. Mm -mm. <laughs> I know six gets counter attack. I don't know if um, I don't know if that can be said for the others. Because I was six in terms of the counter hit or the counter attack. It's like they actually flash to say like, yeah, we're about to attack, and that's when you do the um, that's when you do it. We didn't learn anything, we already knew this shit! Well, just in case this is your first game in the series, despite this being game 3. Right? Uh, one, one of the two versions of game 3 in the world. Don't forget, I'm talking to you Dex online, got it? Jeez. It doesn't surprise me that. I'm not surprised also, too, that I end up fucking getting yelled at from. Can I jack into the school computer? Wow, it actually lets me jack into the school blackboard. Well, I can ride off the bike. It's like, yeah, here you go. Just go in and get what you want. Mm. Oh, I'm just playing a random game on my phone. I'm having a battle. I'm having a 
try to get things I need. Oh god, I actually have turned bug bags so I'm actually fighting. Okay, that's a step up from the last game. That's good. Yeah. Cause there's um bug fag traders which some of them will have like really good fucking um, chips to use in battle. I love how one of the programs is just like, Mel always cleans, in, cleans the bat blackboard until it's nice and clean. I really appreciate it. It's just like, Mel, you've got a fucking program that's essentially like your pet at this point. It doesn't go sync mode, but fine. We don't need a fucking program going sync mode on a human. I'm displaying the name of today's boss help, Bab. Beep beep beep. You know, unless the person's fucking lonely. Uh, male is not, thankful. Considering she has a thing for Lauren. Oh no, when I say a thing, I mean like, yeah, they literally try to push that down your throat. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why, but they do. Just cause. That's all I have an answer for you, just cause. These are elementary school kids. I don't know what they decided, why they decided that. I mean, I know it was Japanese developers that did this at the beginning, I think. But still. Try to get there first. Maybe. Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna say this is Japan. Uh, mainly due to the amount of calligraphy here. That's in, I think, kanji. Yeah. Yeah, that's kanji. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Hey. I'm getting there, folks. I'm learning. Oh, hey, Miss Mavi. What's with all the boxes here? Are you trying to stop us from going back there? I love how she's just like, go home now. Just like, sure, I didn't fucking save you in the first game when you got fucking tied up and shit and shoved into the fucking locker. Oh yeah, that's what happened in the first game. <laughs> Mr. Higsby was um, a WWW member and um, decided to come to the school and ended up like just full on uh, shoving her in after tying her off during a blackout. Lovely. 
to say you're gonna be my hostage, huh? But now he still um, he runs the shop when you know whenever it's gonna open up here. If they ever fucking open it up again. Who the fuck are you? This guy comes in wearing a fucking red cowboy hat. What the shit is this? Who in the fuck are you? Yeah, we are. Sorry if I'm intruding or something. I'm a producer of. For DNA. Really? DNA? Wow. Okay. Um, the Density News Network. Are you going to make me a TV star or something? I knew it. I knew this day would come. But even so, I need a little time to prepare. Uh, right. Anyway, if I might continue. We're sponsoring a competition to find the top net battler. It's called the N1 Grand Prix. Really? N1? You, you couldn't have thought of something else? Like maybe... Maybe NB1? At least then you can definitely associate it with net battling. The preliminaries are being held in ACDC Square. Play. Uh, what were you gonna say? Boy, they're very uncreative, aren't they? Yeah. The finals will be broadcast nationwide. The preliminaries could be your first up to start them. Ooh, look at the time. Registration will start soon, so if you're interested, just jack in and go to ACDC stuff. You'd better hurry. Ciao. I am still questioning the Red Cowboy. Oh god. Nice. Well, pretty much going into the, uh, into the tournament then. All for different reasons. Pretty much all for different reasons, I think. My guy's the only one that's doing it just because it will seem like fun. Okay, I guess. I think our mother got normal fucking stuff rather than one that, you know, has a port in it that people can jack into and cause issues. Okay. You know, like what happened in the first game. Wow, really well. Shit happened? Yeah! Um, essentially the first villain in the first game was... Um, I think it was like Heat Man or something. Um, who was another used by a guy called Mr. Match. Yes, that was his name. Um, and he was like... Pretending to be like a, I guess, some sort of like electrician or something to make sure everything was working fine. And he was actually the one putting the viruses into people's ovens to cause them to essentially, well, pretty much burn down the house. He was trying to find the heat, uh, like the super heat program for WWW. Oh, God.
so yeah. I'm also a bit weird. Like of all things, the oven just fucking trying to burn down the house and explode and shit. People do that on their own anyway. Missed up. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, probably. It wouldn't surprise me, I mean fuck, the maggoty rice. The fucking mouldy ass fish and chips. Like, is there any meal that boy hasn't ruined? And yes, I will call him a boy. I, I, mm, oh no, considering five minutes ago he literally tweeted, you know, I eat rice with a fork, but recently got told it's done because the rice will drop through the four calls, and I never thought about it that until. They said it. I always thought it was annoying to eat rice. He needs help. Really so needs an hour help. ago. So, so before that, he said an hour ago. I have just one question: Do you eat rice with a fork, a spoon, or chopsticks? Spoon. And then Luca responded, "Huh? Spoon." Luca responded, with a fork you're a psychopath, a spoon you want to be normal, and chopsticks makes it fun to eat. Personally, I eat with a spoon. Good lord. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are times where I will use a fork for rice. Because I use it for other things as well. And I'm not having two different sets of cut- I'm not having two different pieces of cutlery out. Just to eat different things. So, yeah, I am a bit of a psychopath in that regard. Difficult to eat with a fork at all. So lovely. Lovely. Yeah, sorry, I'm just going through notifications I keep getting. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not your fault. At least this person, you know, isn't a massive pain in the ass. I completely ran past the fuck. On my six, five and six. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have added a new gun called Side Gun for the chip. That's interesting. Getting all the bug fags as well. Fucking hell. A thousand zennies. That's a Yai security code block. Going down side pass because you know. Why not? Exactly. There's usually some good stuff on the side pass. Me, sir. 
Yeah. I mean, how else are I meant to get money? <laughs> <laughs> money, chips, and God knows what else, because you never know where you're going to find it. You to go on a side path. Mm. Mega Man got a chip for copy damage. Duplicate damage on second damage. Okay, that's a bit interesting. I'll give it that. That's a bit interesting. I thought it was going to be a case of, yeah, you just... Your enemy just takes the damage if you get damage, sort of thing. Which also would have been quite interesting. I'm not gonna... <laughs> no, but yes, but no. Is my uh, head going now? That's all. So I'm not very good right now for commentary. I don't know what this Oh wow, I got three bull frogs there. What the fuck was so special about that fight? Nice. Probably just a random amount. Well, I've got two stars after the number. Mm. Uh, so it's like, because it was seven and then double stars. So I don't know what the fuck that's all about. I don't know either. What with this squirrel? What's with the squirrel? Why not the squirrel? <laughs> the squirrel Monreal. <laughs> Slightly strange looking savage touch of the squirrel. It's bad luck for couples to hold hands as they pass. Hey, Mayo! But let's end this fucking shipping, please. Because, yeah, some people actually ship Mega Man and May and uh, Vol. It's weird. They, they ship the fucking, like, main characters of each other as well as their navvies, and I'm just like, why? Oh, it's nice to see that they I still have the battle. I mean, I have no life as well. So. Got a better life than this baby. Jesus. The first part where we didn't get a book from. An elephant slide, just like in the real world, is small and cute. Shit, shit. 
bizim ya yani. Dana gel olsun. Right, is this going to take us to the square so I can sign up for the perimeter? Don't get used on you, then it gets used on you. Hmm, cost him level 9. Not bad. Hey, ACDC Square. Right, who do I need? Government trader. Does that say metal stage? Interesting. Fucking hell, Alexa got fucking boosted to be 130. And the custom gorge is also. I get access to the custom gorge this. to the custom sword this early? That's insane. Because that thing gets stronger the more. Like the full, the full that the custom guard is, you it just loses all its power if you let the custom guard get full. So if you time it right, you can get a pretty good fucking like strong ass weapon. I'm gonna guess. Um, I'm gonna guess a spot or some sort of scab. Uh, Red means stop. True or false? That's true. Go to ACDC3 to find the true or false data. Circle of X. Take care. So this is ACDC3 then, is it? I need to try and find circle. Is the circle means yes. Get rid of the bunny first. Stuff? Blasphemy. Blasphemy! Oh, it's raining where I am.
Oh wow, I've been running pretty fucking hard. I can actually hear that coming, like, bouncing off the window a bit. It's not often I get it that bad. Yeah. Don't know when I get it this bad unless it's the window time. Looks like I'm having a shitty weather today. Alright, to be fair, spring time. We gotta get our spring showers. Be weird if we don't. But I can still fucking hear, hear the rain. My window's open now, so I would have heard stories. Mm. This is the data I need, now to head back to the square. The bad thing is, because I live in a small ass fucking village, the rain will just fucking disappear in like a few minutes. ACDC one. Give me access to the power that I couldn't get to oh. Nice. Me going off the beam track cause why the fuck not? Grinding. Yeah. Pretty much, especially money wise. So we can try and get more chips that I'm actually going to be able to use. So I'm going to look up to see what, which version has which style. I think white has ground and blue has shadow. And I'll just see which, what I need to do for those. I know for ground it's like... Yeah, you've got to change the terrain a certain amount of times. So like that. If I was doing Y, I would have got that metal panel. Is this a train station? Really? Welcome to Cyber ACDC station where to, you don't have a ticket. They've actually built a fucking cyber train station now. What the fuck? Oh my god. Mega Man never change, please. Just never change. Okay, 
can't really change much for this part of the franchise. It's fucking stopped, on it? It doesn't get any new releases anymore. Like... My brain destroyed for a minute. That's fine. Let's... Let's get ourselves back on track. We'll try and find uh, the, the first of the net dealers because, like, we had hit and then we were just at a cheaper price on the spin bumpers. In the square, so let's get the key for one first. I got hit! Oh no! One up there, and death. I will get chips like off screen. Like I'll probably money grind and buy the chips off screen like I can only do. Cause like yeah, yeah, HP memory ups are like the more important thing to buy at the beginning of the game. This place so many times. I'm gonna have to like <clears throat> Oh A ton of lead is heavier than a ton of feathers. False. They both weigh a ton. Quantity wise, there'd be a lot more feathers, but in terms of weight... Yeah. It's false. They both have the same weight. Inside. Oh, you gotta, you have the weight of the, the, the birds on your shoulders that you kill. Yeah, people like that are uh, idiots. I don't give a shit about that shit. If you're asking about whether you're, whether a ton of lead or you know any other sort of fucking solid material is heavier compared to a equal amount of something light such as feathers um yeah no it's the same 
and will forever be the same. If you want to try and bring moles into a scientific thing, then Fuck you. go somewhere else. <laughs> Well, that was getting along. If it was a talk about, I don't know, fucking human experimentation on fucking mutating people, then yeah, I'm all, f I'm all for the conversation about that, but whether feathers weigh more than lead when they both have the same amount of weight when you pile them all high up, yeah, no, I'm not going to be all that bothered. You think that's harsh of me? Um, but who? This is the real world after all. Nothing's ever nice. There's always something dark behind every nice thing. Psychic can attest to that when it comes to me. Yep. I can just attest to it in general. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah, in terms of just me, you can definitely attest to it. You've seen my dark side towards other people. Mm hmm I'm not gonna get- I'm, I'm hopefully not gonna ever see that to myself, but I know that it might happen one day, because I'm an annoying little shit, but, you know. I always try to, like, warn you beforehand before the anger rolls up a bit much. Yeah, and then I apologise profusely. Yeah. I would have said we would stop apologizing. No. <laughs> I know you never will, but my brain is just like, for fuck's sake, you don't need to say it so many times. Just say it once and that's it. Because in my brain, saying it once means you're not sincere, but saying it multiple times is just like, after a while, it's like, you're totally not sincere again. But my brain won't let me stop. Yeah, for me, it's just say it more than once, you're not being sincere. Unless say, it's me, then oh my god, Saki, shut up. Yeah, and what, at that point, I was like, Saki, shut the fuck up, you've apologized, now just leave it be. My brain won't! <laughs> I just have to deal with it. Our brain, yeah. our conversation would be like. <laughs> me. Me just going. Well, your brain, chill the fuck out. You've apologised. Simple. No, it never chills the fuck out. Mm. <laughs> I wish that was the case. I wish it would. I really wish it would. But in the city, one and it's actually annoying at times. I'm not gonna lie, there have been it times... It doesn't just annoy you. It doesn't just annoy you. Yeah, I'm alright, it, it annoys you as well. It gets to the point where there are times where I'm just biting my tongue to just like not say anything and not make it worse. Just like... my mental health is clearly fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm literally just there, just like, I wanna say this, but I won't, because if I do, she's gonna get a hell of a lot worse. And in every number from 1 to 10 gives 54. I actually don't know about this one. I know this is like basic mathematics, but like... Right, I can't be asked to do an actual math, so I'm just going to get calculator out. So, every number from 1 to 10 added together. Fifty-five. Ooh, one off! So that is false. That's if I did it right. Well, to be fair, I did it on my calculator on my phone and I got the exact same result. Okay, fair
now the question is... Where's the false door gonna be? Is it gonna be on the like, second power, which I have to try and find the entrance for again? Or will it be on the normal part of the first zone? Try the second half first. <laughs> Not a crappy modification. There's so many crappy news articles out for time on my phone. And I just get random news, which I tell you about. <laughs> I only tell you the funny random shit. easy on myself, jack out and jack back in and do things that way. You were thinking of something else though, weren't you? I mean, I, I, I have a video on on the side and it just said... One of the guys just said fuck me and the other guy went, well... Good lord. And then you said that and I was like, oh my god. So this person that I'm fucking calling. They keep messaging you. No, it's wonderful. Um, this is the thing I love about green data. It just pops up all the time whenever you decide to just like jack out and jack back in. Mm. It's just like, yeah, we're here. Hello. Just 
was like, you know, we're probably going to just keep coming back. Um, oh, you... And it's always a random chance of what you're going to get. You could end up with money! Money, 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 money. How about we both go into that? It's also a bit weird that we both decided to comment on the fact that we both did that at the same time. A little bit insane. We spend way too much time together. We really do. <laughs> Let's face it. No. <laughs> we need all the friends, not that we're ever gonna get all the friends. Let's be honest. Yeah. Like, if anybody decides to be friends with my fucking mentally fucked up bullshit, um. Uh, I'm gonna be questioning them. Well? I'm gonna be like heavily questioning whether they're fucking the same. Well, I'm not, so that, that that's yeah, me. I, I know y'all not. <laughs> I mean, fuck, you've been hanging out with me for like. what, about a good year now? Over a year. Yeah. Yeah. Although we celebrated it a bit earlier last year, but you know. No, yeah, because we decided to do it when we got this off for uh, I to meet up due to your anxiety and chat. Yeah, Which was smart play. Yeah, we're not gonna risk me having a freak out on the way over. No. Especially to a place I've never been before. Exactly. Alright, so I've got both of the HP minions from this guy. I guess what I'll do is I'll grab Bubbler E. Bubbler. Bubbler. Bub, 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 bubbler. Explodes one square behind. <laughs> so it essentially hits and then explodes into two different bubbles. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll get rid of the Elise Steel. It's kind of like a shotgun but stronger and water based, so we'll just get, we'll get rid of that. Uh... Aha! I don't know why, but I feel like putting this on your persona. Oh, I can't hear, so I wouldn't know. The little Sunman thing that we were doing. Oh. I don't know why, but I feel like that should be in the music palace. Just imagine that. <laughs> As you do use. Just like I know it's meant to be like orchestra based. But well not orchestra but like just theater or like composer based. The area itself is meant to be just any sort of uh yeah. actual music place, not just like a typical stadium. Yeah. Where you explore the backstage area. But I'm just there thinking like, what if we made the inspiration of his like love for music being 